His Excellency, Mr. Ogbonaya Onu, who was also an immediate past minister of science and technology, will now address us. Your Excellency, sir. Your Excellency, Mr. President, our First Lady, the Vice President, our National Chairman, Party Leaders, Distinguished Delegates. I decided to run for President of our dear nation, Nigeria because I want to build on the work already done by this administration of which I was a part and the work done by previous leaders of our dear nation to make Nigeria a truly great nation. Nigeria was created by God to be a great nation, a nation that all other nations will respect and all Nigerians will be proud of, a nation that will be in a position to grow enough food for our people and to export the surplus, a nation that can produce many of the things that we need and stop relying on importation into Nigeria of all the things that we need. And then we can export the surplus so as to ensure that our currency, the Naira, regains the strength that it used to have before. This Naira used to be stronger than the dollar, and it can still be achieved. We want, I believe very strongly, that using science, technology, and innovation and encouraging entrepreneurship, helping to ensure that all Nigerians are educated and in the interim to offer free education to all Nigerians and make it compulsory at the primary and secondary levels. Because we have seen that the difference between developed and uh, underdeveloped countries are essentially nations that have ignorant people as their citizens. But this education that we are talking about will be different from what we have now. This education will now be influenced by science, technology, innovation, and entrepreneurship. I believe that one day Nigeria should be ranked in the stature of countries like the United States of America and China. That is why I decided to run for president and also to make sure that we build a nation in which every Nigerian will be very happy to be a citizen. To achieve this goal, we will ensure that we allocate a minimum of 2% of the gross domestic product of our uh, economy you know, to science, technology, and innovation within two years. We are doing less than 0.5% today, and we'll be creating a 1 trillion Naira fund for job creation, because we need to create jobs for Nigerian youth. They need to be kept busy so that we can solve the problems we have with security, with uh, you know, all the problems that we have, whether in the health, whether in education, whether in industry, all this can be solved if we apply this directly you know, uh, in our development. I also will want us to establish a ministry of national unity and values that will bring back the values that made this country very great. That ministry will ensure 
that will bring in discipline into our country because once you discipline a society, you will now have progress and so on. There is some appeal that I want to make to the leadership of our party. All, everybody in the leadership of this party know the role I played in bringing APC into being. The intellectual preparation for it, the initial bringing people together, nurturing them, and so on. And even up to the point that I paid for the money that was used to register APC. I would like to say that the motto of APC is justice. You have peace and you have unity. And we must uphold that motto. Because wherever you have justice, you will have peace. And the way you have peace, you will have prosperity. And I say this because I believe very strongly that Mr. President, who has done so well, we know his achievements. Many people don't even know it. But those of us who served under him, we know it. And we are proud of you, Mr. President. But Mr. President, what is very, very important, exceptionally important, is that we must ensure that this justice is upheld. Now, Mr. President will be completing his tenure by 29th of May next year. I think, you know, naturally, naturally, it should be somebody from the Southeast. I'm not saying this because I'm from the Southeast. Somebody from the Southeast that will now replace him. And that will give the opposite of South versus North and Christian versus Muslim. And it will bring stability to our nation. It will strengthen the unity of Nigeria. And uh, I believe that this should have been done. And uh, you know, I personally, 23 years ago, I made a personal sacrifice when there were three parties and I held the presidential ticket of one of the three. But I had to let it go in order to solve a problem in the Southwest to make sure that two Olus contested for the presidency, that head or tail, one will become a president. And that brought down tension in the country. And this is what would have happened if we allow the Southeast to, which is the, I mean, look, look at it. The Southwest has eight years as president, eight years as vice president. Well, can, can you, at the South South, they have eight years vice president and president. Where is the justice? Where is the justice? Where is the justice? We need to do what is right. May God bless Nigeria. May God bless our party. I thank you so much. Thank you so much, Your Excellency.